<laughs> hey, what's up, barbecue lovers? How do you cook a perfectly moist pellet grilled chicken that everybody will love? In this video, I'll show you how to spatchcock and cook a perfectly juicy bird without a lot of hassle. The biggest challenge on whole chickens and half chickens is to get the breast and the thigh just right at the same time. The secret is in the temperature and placement on the grill. Stay with me through these seven steps so you can cook an amazing chicken that will wow your friends and your family. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out the backbone. Some cooks like to just cut it right down the middle. That's okay, you can do that too. I personally like to cut out the backbone, so I'm gonna cut this one out. I'm just gonna use these little scissors here. These are poultry shears and cut right down the back here. Okay, next what we wanna do, we wanna open up that chicken a little bit. Now it has a keel bone, what we call the breast bone, right here in the middle. I like to take a knife and just very gently tap it a little bit right there just enough to get it to crack open. I don't want to go too deep and cut into the membrane. That membrane that, that protects the breast is going to keep all the moisture inside. So we just want to do just enough to get it to lay down a little more flat like that. Trim off any little excess stuff that looks like it might affect how the bird lays. We're gonna take a little bit of OG. This is salt, pepper, garlic, the original seasonal. And I'm gonna go ahead and get generous with this one down here in the bottom. I am gonna put a little bit of wow underneath as well on here. Get some up under the wings here. Wings are one of my favorite part of the chicken and then just give it a nice even coat on top. All right, now we're gonna take a little bit of wow. We're gonna season that over here on the top too, right over the OG. All right, let's go outside and get fired up. All I gotta do is hit the button. Bam! Now part of the secret is to get it to cook nice and even, you wanna put the thighs towards the heat. In this case, in the rectech, it has all these holes around the outside. The heat is coming up around through those holes and around the edges. So we wanna put the breast right in the middle and get the thighs around the outside. Just like that. Right around there, pretty good. There we go. I'm gonna put it right there for now. We'll be back in about 15, 20 minutes. Right now we're running at about 250 degrees. All right, barbecue lovers, here we go. It's been right at 28 minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and flip that chicken. Put a little bit of crispy skin on here. Cook the other side. There we go. Easy peasy, just like that. Now the other thing I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna crank the heat up to 275. I was running 250. I'm gonna go up just a little bit hotter because I want to get that skin nice and tight and a little bit crispy. We'll be back in another 15 or 20 minutes. All right, actually it's only been about 10, 11 minutes, but I can smell that chicken and I can see little whiffs of smoke kind of popping up there. I want to see what that thing looks like. What we don't want to do is burn the skin. We just wanted to crisp it up a little bit. Look at that. It looks okay. I'm going to turn it back one more time. We'll leave it another 10 minutes. Whew, that's hot. We're looking at 51 minutes time to flip it back the other way and uh, let it finish cooking. I'm gonna go grab my thermal pin in just a minute and see what it looks like inside. Ooh, yeah. Look at that juice. Ooh. All right. Now what I do wanna do is, once again, I wanna keep the breast away from the direct heat. The direct heat is more on this side. You can tell just by the color of the drumstick and uh, the way the wings just turned when they were facing the way the water was. I'm gonna close it up, gonna go grab my thermal pen. Look at that real pretty color that's developed by being the other way. Let's see what temperature is inside of the red dot. We're gonna check the thigh first. Let's see what that looks like. I bet it's done. 175. That one, 172. I like to bounce it off the bone if I can find it. 160. I see a little bit of red juice coming out of there. That's not done yet. Let me check the other one a little bit deeper too. Yeah. You can see that little bit of red juice. It's definitely not done. It may be hot up here at the top where the bone is because it was flipped over the other way. But when you go deeper down into that thigh, just cracking 159 degrees. Uh, and I'm not even going to worry about the breast yet because uh, the thighs ain't done anyway. We're not going to try to lose any excess juice from the breast until the thighs are, are reading the temperature they need to and the juices are running clear. I also picked up the 
temperature to 300 degrees while it was flipped over. So uh, it's still running at three. This thing should be ready in about 10 or 15 minutes tops. And once you start getting really close to the finish line, you need to check a little bit more off. All right, this time we're gonna check the thigh again and we're also gonna check the breast. Look at that pretty color. Yeah, buddy. Man, oh man. Looks like we're way done. We're 177 on here. 177 on the other side. Perfect. All right, let's probe our breast right down here. We're deep in the middle. Looking at 148. So we're definitely behind on our breast. Remember what I said? It wasn't over the direct heat. So it's definitely way behind. Our thighs are going to be a little overcooked, but you know, you can take a thigh up to 190 degrees, 200 even, and it's going to be okay. You don't want to overcook the breast. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this breast, rotate it the other way around, put it right over the fire there. Again, remember I explained that the heat comes out around the little deflection plate, through the holes, so we're going to pull the thighs a little further back and try to get that breast to catch up at least to get down to 160 degrees. Close it back up. We'll be back in another 15, 20 minutes and uh, we'll let you guys know what the total time is. All right, friends, it's time to check one more time. It has been, according to the stopwatch, one hour and 25 minutes. All right, we know the thighs are done. No need to check the thighs. We just want to find out if that breast is done. 161. I'd say we're money. We are good. Let's check the other one just for good measure. That one's in the 170, so we are way, way done. Let's go ahead and get this thing pulled off. All right, that is one beautiful, delicious, juicy looking bird. Whew, I see juice coming out already. Look at that. All right, let's get it inside and get it cut up. All right, my barbecue loving friends, we went outside and uh, put our spatchcock chicken on the Rectech Bullseye Pellet Grill. Uh, I was running some uh, mesquite and hickory pellets in there, a little combination of both. And as you can see, the pellet grill put a really beautiful color on there, along with the seasonings, the wow and the OG. All together, it made for a really nice looking chicken. If you got any questions about how juicy and moist this thing is, just look at all that juice floating around in this plate. All right, now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to split the bird in half right down the middle here. Oh my gosh, look at the juice. Folks, this was not an injected or a brined chicken, neither, okay? And just look at that amazing moisture this chicken has, just beautiful. It's right there, you can really see that. You can see that right there. All right, after you have the chicken split in half, let's go ahead and move one side, one half of it over here. I'm gonna come right between the thigh and the breast and separate the thigh here. Look how easy that comes apart. Just really, really quick and easy. We're going to separate the drumstick from the thigh. There's one drumstick. Now, the thigh bone runs up and down like this, so I'm going to come right along the side of the thigh bone here and just give it a nice little split here. So there's three pieces just from the thigh alone. One, two, and three. All right, now one of the things I like to do with the breast, a lot of times we carve it along lengthwise. Um, we're going to separate the... Uh, wing here, set that aside over here. But another way, I call these breast medallions. I like to cut it across the breast like this. We're gonna get way more than eight pieces out of here. Like this. All right, one more. And here, this last piece here, this is breast and we have the drumette here attached to the breast. Kind of similar to what you get at a lot of your fried chicken places. All right, so we're gonna set that aside over here for a little bit. Let's do the same thing to the other half. Now in this case, I left the wing tip on here, or the, I left the wing on here attached to the drumette and attached to the breast. Just another way that you can do. I'm just giving you guys ideas if you're throwing big parties and you have a lot of people over, this is one way you can make your chicken go a long ways. And that, my friends, is a great way to split up a whole chicken after you cook it spatchcock. 
It's super juicy, super moist, I can tell. And my mouth is literally salivating <laughs> to take a bite, so I can't stand it any longer. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a piece from back here and just get a little piece, see what it tastes like. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Mmm. Oh, baby. Mmm. Very moist. Very, very moist. That parquet has a little bit of buttery taste in there. Actually, it's very subtle. The wow inside that slather mixed with the poultry seasoning. It looked like a lot, but it really wasn't. It's very subtle. It's just barely even in there. But man, that's really, really good. Mmm. All right, friends, if you're interested in really upping your barbecue game, check out my online barbecue classes at pitmasterclass.us. I have one particular video dedicated strictly to different ways of cooking chicken, just like this. If you just want to learn how to cook better chicken, or you can learn all the other popular barbecue meats at pitmasterclass.us. Now, you can buy my seasonings at uh, pitmaster.us. I have a OG, which is salt, pepper, garlic, and then we have the wow to boom wow your taste buds. If you guys have any questions or comments in our process today, just go ahead and ask in the comments. Guys and girls, thanks so much for watching. We really appreciate each and every one of you guys. I hope you got some value out of this. And uh, once again, if you did, hit the like button, hit the share button, hit the bell, and get notified next time our video comes out. Remember to keep the smoke light and make it work. Boom!